Welcome back to Helicopter Lessons in 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jacob, and this episode covers dynamic rollover, so let's get to it. Now, dynamic roller is, rollover is the point at which a helicopter will continue to roll over despite pilot inputs. But before we jump into dynamic rollover, it's important to understand what is static rollover. Now, static rollover is just that. It's the point at which an object will roll over from a static or a stationary position. Pretty much means any object where the center of gravity uh, is above the ground, something like a table or a chair or a car or a helicopter. Uh, now, it requires a pivot point and a critical angle. So let's take a look at what that means. Now, I said earlier this can apply to anything, right? So let's say I'm in my, uh, my dining room and I want to move my dining room table. Now, as soon as I pick up the, the dining room table, it's going to have a center of gravity once it's above the ground. And let's say I just begin to push on the dining room table in this, this direction. Well, at this point, I have a pivot point. It's a point where the object pivots, and I have a center of gravity, which is, like I said, above. Uh, it's, it's higher on the, the object as it is above the ground. Now, as I push on this object, it's going to get to the point where the center of gravity is going to be above this pivot point. And that will be exceeding the critical angle. Now, what does that mean? The critical angle is just, it's nothing more than the angle that determines which way an object will fall or roll. So, at this point, with the center of gravity, center of gravity is on this side of the, the pivot point. Uh, if I were to release the object, it would continue to fall to the left. If the center of gravity would to pass on this side of the pivot point, the object would fall to the right. All right, so in this uh, situation right here, uh, we have a pivot point, and we have an exceeding of the critical angle. And that makes up, makes up a static rollover condition. Now let's apply this to a helicopter. Let's say we have a helicopter right here. Um, let's say it's parked on the ground and engines are off, whatnot, and all of a sudden somebody just comes out there and wants to push on this helicopter. Now the center of gravity, definitely going to be higher in helicopters than it is in some other objects because of our transmission, our drivetrain, rotor system, engines, all that tends to sit higher so that center of gravity is naturally going to be higher in a helicopter. But there's going to be a point at which that center of gravity is going to be above the pivot point and the aircraft is going to want to roll. And that is that critical angle. Now let's say for just simplicity in this example, maybe that's 15 degrees. There's a point at which, say 15 degrees, I push this helicopter and it will just continue to fall to the right instead of to the left uh, once it exceeds that critical angle. All right, once again, it's got that pivot point. Let's say this main landing gear and it's exceeded the critical angle. It continues to fall over in a static rollover condition. Now that is a static rollover condition. That means there's no motion in the object prior to. Now what makes this a dynamic uh, rollover is when I add rolling motion to the object. And now dynamic rollover is going to cover the pivot point exceeding the critical angle but now introduces a rolling motion. So what does that look like? Let's say we have our same example of a helicopter except now engines are, uh, are running, we have the helicopter uh, rotor spinning and now we're say uh, sliding right or sliding left in the helicopter. Alright, as we drift to Say so we drift to the right, uh, our center of gravity right here, at our landing gear, and then now we make contact with some kind of rock or something like that. At this point, we've introduced a pivot point. We've already got some rolling motion in the, ob uh, in the object, and now we exceed a critical angle, which now the critical angle is going to be slightly different. Um, due to Newton's third law of motion, an object in motion tends to stay in motion. Uh, this is going to affect this, this rolling motion and exceeding the critical angle. Whereas in a static condition, it might have only take, taken, say, 15 degrees. Now we're moving along at maybe 5 to 10 or 15 knots or whatever. This critical angle now might have been reduced to maybe 10 to 5 degrees or so. And so we may hit a, uh, a pivot point, and now with just a few knots of airspeed, now we have a dynamic rollover condition where the helicopter is going to make contact this center of gravity uh, exceeds the critical angle and the helicopter continues to roll over you know in a ball of turning metal and whatnot destroys the helicopter uh, so it's very important to understand this dynamic rollover because it's very very easy to get into 
All right, well, that wraps up part one of dynamic rollover. We covered the uh, what is static ro static rollover and dynamic rollover with a pivot point exceeding the angle, critical angle and rolling motion. Uh, in part two, I want to go over some of the causes, uh, the physical and the human factors associated with it, as well as how to avoid it. So stay tuned with the next video, or for the next video, I'll put the link in the description. You should see it pop up in the video here. Thanks again for watching. <laughs>